course, as uh, some of you may know, the nicest guy in the world with the least enjoyable play style in the world. <laughs> That's usually how I snipers go. <laughs> Shout out to Diz, Diz Kid. Kid yeah. the not one of the, you know, Diz Kid, Uber Ice, super nice guys that you hate to play against. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, like you say, oh, it's going to uh, Ice Climbers Fox, which is going to be rough for these Ice Climbers. Uh, not only uh, does Fox, you know, is good against everybody, uh, Falcon, I think, is the counter pick to uh, Ice Climbers for sure. Yeah, I think that a lot of people underestimate Falcon's ability to not only split the Ice Climbers, but finish them off very quickly. And uh, it's, it, Sharks is going to have enough time, hard time in Gato. If, if, if Gato's Fox isn't worked up to where it needs to be, he's going to have a heck of a time against these. He needs, I think Gato really needs to stick to none here. Um, yeah, like Lou. Uh, that, because because I guarantee Ryan Forts is, is, is solid at the Fox. He is Ditto. probably laser focused on those Ice Climbers and on the, the Fox Ditto as well. All right. Blue team doing a great job here so far. Ryan Ford down in this first game. Uh, yeah, that, those stocks went by quick. Um, and Shark doing a really good, jo stop, uh, good job staying alive, uh, even as Ice Climbers. Yeah, uh, definitely. Keeping his Nana alive, too. He's really good at those preemptive uh, uh, down smash reads or any kind of smat mallet swing reads. Catching uh, you coming in. A lot leaving, he catches people leaving a lot. You, you can tell he's one of those guys that had like a super good reaction time. All right. Ugh. And blue team was doing well, but green team's kind of pulling it back. And and I, I, it's because I think blue team's giving them a little too much space. During the first half of this match, they were all up in each other, uh, but. Uh, as soon as Green Team has room, I think that's where they're going to have trouble, uh, especially with a Falcon. Ryan Ford already in danger of losing his last stock here. Yeah, I, Green Team's slowly moving this back, though. Yeah, uh, certainly. You're right. And I, I really think Blue Team needs to just stick to them, stick to both of them as, as close as possible. Uh, do you want to you want to see them also sticking close to each other, or would you rather see this be like two one v ones? If they could do two v one one v ones, sure. But um, I feel like it's only going to benefit them to fight closer together and create. Oh, and I, yeah, and I, it, I think with you know Gato's experience versus the other three, I, I think that's what they need to do too. Sharks with the handoff. Ooh, all right, good job, Sharks. Gets rid of Ryan Ford. Oh, it's going to be up to Edgar. None in a very tricky spot here. Oh, wow. I think he's still alive. Yeah, oh, that mountain, dude. Nice edge guard from Gato. All right. But Ryan Ford versus the Ice Climbers. All right, and, and it's the rock transformation, which is not good for Ice Climbers. Not at but all. But there is the wobble factor. Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> Nana says, hey, bye-bye. All right. It's looking grim. I don't know what Ice Climbers could do, especially There's in so this much mid. time on this rock transformation ooh, left. Ooh, uh, Gosh, dude. God, that rock transformation is still there. But the thing, if, if he knew, oh, here we go. Oh, I thought. Dude, Sharks uh, is no, I swear Sharks to God, is I thought no back Joker. Here right there. Sharks is no Joker. Please don't underestimate him. He's dead. Nice. Gosh. Uh, almost had him. I don't know if going into the pit uh, was a good idea for Ryan Ford because if you got an ice climber single popo at 100%, he's probably going to lose into the neutral game at center stage. Uh, but he risked it, and it worked out. Gato uh, certainly held his own in that game. Very surprising uh, edge guarding from him on some of he the. Did, he did well. Sharks held his own. Uh, I really think it was uh, Ryan Ford who brought it back for Green Team in that one. Though. Yeah, that last stock of his, he really put in a lot of work with it. He made up for his first three stocks. His last stock lasted longer than his first three. And that and that's what you need to do in teams. It's like if you're going aggro and you lose three stocks like super quick. Uh, you gotta play conservative. You gotta adapt more than you know. Uh, going for reads in that case. After a very close game, Team North Carolina is looking to get on the board versus Team Canada on Yoshi's. All right, Yoshi's story. Uh, I guess yeah for the Falcon. Uh, plus the Ice Climbers love to do uh, these. Oh gosh. These ups are these down smash uh, kills that you know kill like at 50 or 60 with bad the eye. Gato is out early on his third stock. 
Uh, I think he killed his <laughs> killed his partner's Nana, which is unfortunate. Ooh. Green team acting like they're woken up now after that first game. Yeah, I got. I, I think Gato's either got to lay it on or. Yeah, dude, he's. He went right over there by the ledge. The very first, uh, the last two stocks, right first thing, and green team was cognizant of that. Nice edge guarding though. He's keeping it keeping it close for the blue team here, but not not quite close enough here. Uh, green team very dominant here in the first minute. I don't know wobbling. Yeah, that's. It's almost better just to hit him away. It, it was probably about the same percent, actually. Now I think he's going to it. build some percent, but I don't know. Maybe just that. Maybe yeah, getting a down smash. On story, up. though, man. I don't know. Yeah, you're probably right. Just like that, Gato oh. already is taking stocks. <laughs> None just destroying everybody, including his partner. Definitely not the green team we saw from game one here in pools. All right, and Nun doing a really good job uh, conserving his stocks. Uh, that's hard to do on Wow, story. he just killed him with a bear off the other side. That DI was atrocious. Yeah, it's only a minute and a half, and gosh, it's already 2-5. to five. Certainly, uh, certainly All right. a rougher outing for the boys. I, can, I, can, I gotta be honest, I can't follow half of this match. They're just, they're just too much going on with the Ice Climbers on it's there. It's a blender, and, man. Yeah, and they're just going at each other. All right, Popo versus the world, baby. A little Let's man do with it. little arms versus these <laughs> fully grown men. Yeah. All right. 2-0 after a close game one. Yeah, it was a good yeah, a Good job to Sharks and Gato for keeping that game one close. And good job for Ryan Ford for readjusting there, bringing back the first game, and then playing like an absolute mad man in the second game. 